I do this for myself I become a temple of the Holy Ghost for myself the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraught thank you for joining us if this is your first time here make sure you subscribe if this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you then consider becoming a partner with us if you will hear the words I'm saying tonight I will take you to where I'm going I am a traveler I go from one thing to the next the next is new the next is different the next is not what you're used to it's not where you were and it's not what you were doing this is better get in or get out either way I'm going on listen I do it for myself say that I do it for myself these words sound strange to the religious ear this is for me I do it for me say I do it for me I am a temple I am a temple of me sounds strange doesn't it I'm first a temple of me now those of the religious persuasion have missed this completely you only hear those kind of words maybe in the secular realm they'll say oh I'm a temple but I am a temple I'm a temple first of me I'm a temple first of me first Timothy 3 verse 5 if a man know not how to rule his own house how shall he take care of the church of God if you can't rule your own house your own body how can you take care of the temple of God which one was first his own first Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 4 every one of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor you have to possess your own vessel say my own vessel you are a temple of you your body is your temple and you need to know that first are you here and it says you can know how to which means some people don't know how to first Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 19 what know you not that your body say my body what are we talking about my body my temple say my temple your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you which you have of God therefore glorify God in your body you 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 this verse is about you I do this for myself I become a temple of the Holy Ghost for myself now that's not what you were taught because you were religiously brainwashed into thinking something else you are first the temple of you therefore you do everything in your temple for yourself first Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 without faith it is impossible to please him for he that comes to God so we have a he or a person is coming to God right you have to be a person first you have to be a self first say self first he that comes to God must 
believe that he is he we're talking about the Holy Ghost obviously here the Holy Ghost is God we believe he is he is where he is in the earth and that he the one that's in the earth that he is a rewarder of them so we believe he is and that he's rewarding us sounds selfish doesn't it some people have a real problem with this but if they have a problem with it then they can't please him in fact it says it's impossible to please him without believing these two things that he is and that he's rewarding you I do this for myself and it pleases him I believe he is and that he is a rewarder of me it's your self-interest that pleases him I know those words sound almost heretical it's your self-interest that pleases him listen it's your self-interest that pleases him your religious idea of I can't serve him for the reward doesn't please him in fact it's impossible to please him with that religious idea floating around in your noggin it's your self-interest that pleases him say self-interest religion would have you believe in communism and its ugly twin sister socialism in fact socialism and communism they are religions the further i go into worshiping the holy ghost as god and walking with him in the earth by speaking words the less religious i get say self-interest you get saved for yourself you don't get saved for anybody else not family not friends you get healed for yourself you don't get healed for anybody else John 3 16 everyone knows it whosoever will the whosoever is a person and they have to will to get saved it was a selfish act I get saved I get healed I receive and believe for the reward i'm a whosoever and i will that's the person that gets it that's the person that ends up pleasing god mark 10 51 we see jesus talking to blind bartimaeus and he asks him what would you have me do for you comes up to the blind man and says what would you have me do for you blind Bartimaeus said that I might receive my sight to which we know Jesus immediately rebuked him and said that's selfish you get nothing go to the back of the line no Jesus said your faith hath made you whole completely selfish act self-interest but blind Bartimaeus his faith made him whole selfish 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 self-interested selfish healed selfish selfish self-interested selfish made rich selfish 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 self-interested selfish got saved I do this for me me first you don't hear that in the religious circles do you sounds sacrilegious you preach a selfish gospel there is no other gospel what must I do to be saved that's what the jailer asked Paul what must I do to be saved to which Paul and Barnabas said that's a selfish question go back in the jail and lock yourself up is that what he said no nope. Hebrews 11 6 believe he is and rewards you who does the believing that he is you who do you believe he's rewarding you and this faith pleases God get it straight you don't have it straight 
it's a socialistic and communistic idea that everything you have and do must somehow benefit the collective in light of that the self is secondary it comes second where we see here it's right up front it's first everything you receive and do does not need to benefit the collective boo that's not true all are created equal and endowed with certain individual rights it's the individual that matters say i'm the individual this is why we are better than you the communists and the socialists adam smith in 1776 talked about the invisible hand when everyone is serving their own self-interest there's seemingly an invisible hand that gets involved and causes everyone to prosper that's called capitalism the invisible hand is god god moves in when everyone is pursuing their own self-interest say god's hand moves when i pursue my own self-interest everyone gets blessed say everyone gets blessed when i pursue my own self-interest it's a fact deal with it well i've never heard anything like this before i know quit hanging out with all those religious people they're holding you back proverbs chapter 9 and verse 12 if thou be wise thou shalt be wise for thyself for thyself say thyself in genesis chapter 1 verse 27 god made man in his own image his own self image in the book of the wisdom of solomon chapter 2 verse 23 into the image of god's own eternal self god is an eternal self you were made into the image of god's eternal self you were made an eternal self you're not an eternal collective this isn't communism this isn't socialism god made you in his image and like god you are a self say i'm a self and therefore your actions must be selfish you act selfish you are a self somebody say oh you're selfish Duh, no kidding i am a self i can't act any other way but selfish get over it and it pleases god first corinthians chapter 12 and verse 11 talking about the holy ghost who is god in the earth today all these worketh that one and self say one and self same spirit he's one he's a self are you here second corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit lord we're changed into the same image of himself you are personally changed you are changed personally you are changed personally into the same image of the eternal self second timothy chapter 2 verse 6 the husbandman that labors must be first partaker of the fruits you must be first say i must be first is that in your bible you must be first partaker of the fruit me first if you want to be scriptural you have to say me first listen without you 
there is no gospel without you there is no gospel you first you first partake of it that makes it good news in Acts chapter 3 verse 6 Peter said what I have give I unto you you can't give unto somebody something that you don't have that you don't possess that you don't walk in therefore you must have it first you must be the first partaker of it and you must have it you first me first I'm going on I'm going in therefore I will have something to give to somebody but I have it first Jesus was asked what the greatest of the commandments were and he answered and said the number one you're supposed to love the Lord your God with all your heart all your soul all your mind all your strength and a close second was to love your neighbor as yourself we love ourselves because you can't love your neighbor as yourself if you don't love yourself first say I'm first then you have something to give to your neighbor are you here it's not communism it's not socialism it's self-interest that I worship the Lord my God and him only serve in this room all things are added unto you viewed by many as being oh that's selfish own it walk in it be first Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people and you've taught them something new today something that will take them farther into the things that you have for them because they couldn't go there holding on to those old worn out ways we worship you Holy Ghost and we thank you that the new has come and it is great and it is bigger and better than anything we could ever have thought before in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you for teaching me that you are concerned about me as a self and I'm self-interested in worshiping you and following you and having all those things be added unto me in Jesus name Amen the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth today